It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and it's time for that biggest of big questions, or maybe just a regular size question ish. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. I'm it's so it's probably going to be regular size. <laughs> probably a regular size. Mm. Fun size question. He's back. He's got the question. Um, LB, uh, did, did we do a serviceable job without you with the big questions? I think you guys did an excellent job. Excellent. So what do you, you what do you, tremendously. what do you got for us this week? You know what my favorite part of the big question is? The part where it's over? No. Asking, <laughs> asking, asking the question? No. Uh, my favorite part of the big question is that I don't have to sing a theme song for it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Not yet. Uh, although I think, ooh, I think we should record like an official one. And put it yeah, up. we anyway. should. Okay, so uh, professional wrestling as a whole, uh, we know this uh, from an outside perspective. Uh, we like we speculate on the sport, right? That's just that's just how it is. That's just the nature of the beast. You got to speculate. Why? Because there's not a lot of transparency in professional wrestling. We know more than some people do because some people here uh, work in professional wrestling. Um, some of us here have worked for the WWE before. So we know a little bit more than the average bear, uh, which doesn't know shit because bears have tiny little walnut-sized brains. I don't know if you knew that, but that's why bears shit in the woods, and that's why they have the saying, does the Pope shit in the woods? Now, what? don't make fun of bears. Shit, shit, God damn it. <laughs> Welcome back, LB. That bear had a family. I didn't know where I was going with that. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Let's see here. Bears. Pope. Pope D'Angelo De Niro. TNA. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so uh, wrestling as a whole, in like. It, it didn't, maybe it didn't invent it. I don't know the origins, the etymology of the word, but it popularized the term kayfabe. And kayfabe at his heart meaning is, means keep up your character and keep up the lie. Wrestling is an industry based on secrets. When Vince McMahon came out and said, yes, some of the things we do is staged, people fucking shit a brick in the wrestling world. A lot of other people were like, ah, I knew it. And everyone else was like, you're not that fucking smart. <laughs> my question this this nature of wrestling is slowly changing with social media and uh, uh, with the internet and everything like that we're getting more and more of a behind the scenes look at professional wrestling and they're really starting to embrace it to a certain degree but as Sorg mentioned earlier on this very episode you still don't really know if a tweet is genuine or if it is a work or what the deal is now my question, my big question to you gentlemen here assembled here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show is, what if suddenly there was complete transparency in professional wrestling? If there, were, uh, there was a website that suddenly cropped up like ESPN.com where if they reported something, it was 99% true. Complete transparency in professional wrestling, how would that change the business? And how would that change this show? That's the big question. This show. This very show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show. Wow. Um, wow. I will answer quickly. Okay. How it would change the business, there would be, uh, I think there would be a lot of uh, changes in the practice, a lot of the ways that, um, that wrestlers are treated backstage, and it might even change you know, the, the, the locker room culture that they have, uh, and things like that. And especially if, um, you know, merchandise sales and salaries suddenly become complete public knowledge, you know, that that's going to change a lot, a lot there. Um, and on top of that, uh, as far as this show is concerned, I think this show at that point improves. There's less speculation and there's more room for us to just lay back and enjoy and bask and soak in the thing that we love so well. Hmm. Hmm. Good point. That's my answer. Hmm. I will combat that with, um, I think your coverage will be more interesting. You'll, of course, we're already seeing this a little bit, but stuff being covered, of course, on ESPN, especially around WrestleMania. Um, I think you'll have more... The more I think things will change in the content, I think things would stay the same. Um, because have you looked at reporting and everything on... Um, on real sports have you looked at hockey blogs have you looked at baseball blogs um i think i think um as a whole all those will be there but 
I feel like what you're going to get is still based on speculation because I, I think, you know, not being a frequenter of sports blogs, I did love, I was entertained greatly mostly because they have wrestling gifts every once in a while, uh, the Pence blog. And a lot of it was perception and feeling regardless of this is a real sport with press conferences, right? Mm-hmm. Um, to that point, are you saying that it's a, it's like 99% exposed as regular sports are or? No, it's, it's, it's complete transparency. More than, more than professional sports. More than professional sports. Yes. Okay. Then because there's, like you said, there are, there is still a lot of speculation and everything like that, but essentially you're kind of taking uh, a lot of the speculation out of the equation. Right. I, I think again, or, or do you think it would, that people would still speculate and not believe what they're being told? Yes. I think, I think the people that go off and, and make stories, well, the, the word on the street is the feeling backstage is da, 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 da. That's still going to be a thing. Only maybe that'll actually be discussed on a, on a version of an ESPN that that cares about wrestling. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we we kind of uh, sit here and think like, oh, this is a sport and this and that it should be treated the same way as this. It's not, guys. It's a stage show. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. theater. It's is the what we're doing is th- what we're doing here on this podcast is no different than somebody that has a soap opera digest podcast. That's mm-hmm. Coming next week. Coming next week from Sorgatron <laughs> Media. And to that extent, I think, um, but to how this show changes, um, I think because those news sources won't change too much, I would only hope, the only difference I would hope is more credible news sources step up to report on it than we have now. Because unfortunately, let's be honest, some of these are freaking dirt. They are yeah. dirt site, sheets. Site? And they the make website? no sense. Oh, what? Sorry, sorry. The, the, the websites that we follow are just complete dirt and and uh, and there's a few credible ones and and even then it's like well where did you get these from you know um, and it's all rumor and speculation and I don't know I, I, I don't think you're gonna have like it doesn't make sense to me that you know you would have WB have a press conference about uh, uh, I don't know what's what's an it was a back about Stone Cold and Vince having issues. You know what I mean? I mean, mm-hmm. I think we already have that to an extent because of all these people that have podcasts and they're like, well, actually, this is how it is. Like, I think we do have our transparency, uh, regardless of WWE having a hand in it or not. So, um, did I answer both sides of the question? Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, who who wants next? I think the uh, website's going to be run by Mets fan forever or whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be right 90% of the time. <laughs> and it's going to be based on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I think, it, I think it'll change it for, for the best if that happens. Um, it'll, be, it'll be more professional. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe WWE.com could become this one day. Who knows? Awesome. And that reality era that they're talking about. So we'll yeah. see. I don't think it'll change our show much. No. <laughs> um, I, I think that if there was like real transparency of what was going on backstage and stuff like that, I think that would aid towards getting the wrestlers a union. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, if, if you're talking like it's going to be more like sports, like uh, the MLB players have a union, the NFL players have a union, like – if wrestling was truly transparent, we knew exactly what was going on with why this guy wasn't on this show, how like injuries that these people have, and how bad they really are off sometimes. Like, I think it might mean less house shows because of the transparency, um, and I think it might mean that more people will take time off, or we might get like not a season format, but something like where we get a few less shows, definitely less pay per views a year. Like I, I think more transparency would benefit the product because people would be able to get into it a little bit more because they know kind of what goes on backstage and what goes into it. Mm-hmm. And you'd be able to look at it from a completely different perspective. And presumably, the WWE wouldn't be treating their fans like idiots anymore because they have all this extra knowledge. Kind of... Kind of um, Kind of, kind of a side note to what you say. I would on the union side. I would love WWE to have a mandated for health reasons, like mm-hmm. maybe a nine months on the road, three off for everybody. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like I feel like they need to for for you can per, do that staggered for too. for per, yeah. for personal, mental, and physical health. I I think mm-hmm. I think that's something that needs to happen. 
Um, and and plus, it would help push new stars too. It would push. It would give room to push new stars. You don't have to wait till everybody get injured. Miss is talking about. Oh, I couldn't wait. To, I was so happy I got injured because I can have time off the road and, and refresh myself and refresh my gimmick, right? Um, but I don't know. That, that's kind of a side question. But it, but I, it's just I, I think it's needed. And you can stagger. And plus, you could have you could have more people do more side projects like movies and stuff. Do side do side projects like that, and um, it's not like they need to go away for three months. Yeah. They can still and, do appearances and stuff, but they're not doing the whole boom, boom, boom that everybody has to do every week. So, like that's when they should do charity work tours. <clears throat> yeah, sure, something easy, you know. We like at least you're doing this. Like, go oh, heal up, you know. Everybody needs it because, like, CM Punk, you're throwing yourself at the mat every night, you know. Um, and it's it just you need to, you just really need to. I, mean, I think that would and, help a lot of people out for longevity of their careers. I don't, and I don't think I don't think it would really change the show as much. I think we'd still be fucking awesome. So there you go, there you yeah. go, uh, Eamon? Uh As far as the business goes, I guess I, I'll garner it to more just WWE. Uh, I think the the audience in which they focus on would be changed. Um, I I mean we talk about how a lot of the cases when we talk about WWE, there's a there's this guy that well it's not really for us. Um, it's for a younger audience, uh, someone who may not always know how scripted or how you know in depth wrestling is. Uh, I think with transparency like that, um, there would be a more uh, they would garner their uh, attention more towards the audience that knows that it's fake or knows that it's staged or, or you know all those aspects, but still watches it because they in, either enjoy the athleticism or the storytelling or whatever it may be. Um, because in theory, like that's, that would be your audience pretty much. Um, it would also, I think, hold WWE more accountable, um, on certain aspects. And I think that's for the greater good. Definitely. Um, as far as our podcast goes, I don't know if it would directly affect us. I do think there would be a much, there would be much few shows garnered towards wrestling because, you know, if if you have an ESPN esque thing that is covering what's going on, you really only need one source. I guess is the best way to put it. Um, I mean, unless you know, there would be opinion pieces and, and and stuff like that. But I think people are going to direct their attention more towards you know the news of whatever you know going on. I guess. Um, you know, I, I I think it would definitely change up the podcasts. You know, internet sort of. Um, news realm, but I don't know if it would directly like hurt us. I guess, um, but yeah. Awesome! I think that's everybody here along here, right? Riz is, there is oh, Riz is here. I'm sorry, he, I don't have here. him in a slot. I, I apologize for that, Riz. Sure, this is the second time now. Yes. I, I was either on the show or Riz. in the chat room. Riz. Um, but no, uh, to answer the question though. Um, I kind of agree on the side of Mad Mike on this one. Uh, it would totally affect how they run things and how, and maybe have that union happen and maybe get those three months off and six months on or whatever the thing was. I'm not sure. I suck at math. Um, but I just feel like it would, it would, like the like AJ Lee or CM Punk would get the time off that they need, and and maybe this show would you know kind of not you know and, and maybe our show would be knocked down just a bit, but I don't think in a whole that uh, the podcasting realm would be affected because even though those ESPN got. ESPN does cover it. If something like ESPN covers wrestling, there's still going to be those little side projects like what we do here for the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, just like there is for, you know, I, I believe there is stuff for like football talk and hockey talk and stuff like that. Um, will it be, you know, lessened and will we know more about it? Yeah, but it's more fun. To, it, it's fun to talk about still. Mm-hmm. And that, that's why that's why we get together every Tuesday because it's fun to talk about. We don't we don't say hey hey guys 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 breaking news. We don't say that. 
we don't say stuff like that because we just have fun. And that's why we're here. Uh, some other people like, uh, I don't want to name any tweets or tweeters or anything um, like that, but like the breaking, the breaking the stories before they happen suck. They suck. Uh, but having, having that transparency would probably kill those guys off. Like, but but as for us, we still would be doing stuff and having more fun since they're not there and they're getting our audience and we're getting their audience. So fuck them guys. Um, but yeah, it, it's just to the point where I just feel like it would be healthier if it was more transparent and the fans didn't know a lot of what's going on. Mm-hmm. And that's just pretty much it. All right. Well, with that, uh, let me see what we got here. If anybody's in the chat room, I don't know. Is the chat room alive? Okay. Uh